Hi there, it's time for another little mini series and this mini series is all about shoot 'em ups and what we're going to do is go through a variety of different shoot 'em ups which do happen to be my favourite style of games on computers and consoles and so on. So we're going to start off by looking at one of the earliest style of shoot 'em ups, that's the gallery shooter or also known as a single screen shooter and that's called a gallery shooter because you usually sit at the bottom of the screen and shoot at things coming at you from the top of the screen like a traditional shooting gallery and uh, this is a variant on that theme which is probably most popularised by Space Invaders and Galaxian and games like that but uh, also in that uh, style of game is Centipede and this is a variant of that game called Spectipede So as an early Mastertronic release it's pretty run of the mill stuff for the packaging pretty nice picture on the front cover here and a logo which says Spectipede and there is the giant bug centipede type thing and there's a couple of guys in blue spacesuits in little blue pods who are presumably trying to shoot at it and the 199 Mastertronic logo at the bottom there spine is grid style stuff with the logo on and loading instructions on the back there inside the packaging we've got the logo again and the aim of the game pretty straightforward stuff your mission is to destroy the spectipede to do so you must hit the head and eliminate one segment at a time beware of spiders are also deadly basically it's centipede pretty much and there's some uh, scores there for mushroom spiders any section of the worm and bonus ship details as well controls a keyboard or joystick and that's pretty much it for the inside we just got the same instructions in the usual foreign languages So here we have the title screen of Spectipede, pretty unspectacular stuff but that's kind of what you'd expect from 1984 and one of these early Mastertronic releases. As you can see there uh, it's copyright Tony Kelly so we, here we have another game from the prolific Mr Chip software uh, otherwise it's just got a bit of information in the typical arcade game style of what points you get for various things that you shoot and also it's got some keyboard controls which are very convoluted, full 8 way directional controls it seems and um, also we've got uh, the details about the fact you get a bonus life at 10,000 points which is pretty standard for a lot of arcade style games as well no music, in fact there's no music in the game but I was going to say no music to speak of on the title screen there's actually none whatsoever the sounds are pretty minimalist as you'll find out soon enough so you can press any key to start or a button on the joystick and then you can't press a joystick button to go through this bit you have to actually press J for joystick and away we go with the first level and uh, as expected it's a centipede clone it's not exactly the same as centipede um, there's two things on the screen that you've got to focus on shooting there's these green things coming down the screen which come down in the same manner as a, a typical centipede would do in the game of that name oh, which has just killed me because I missed them um, but actually there's also a thing going around the screen which is actually more resembling a centipede in this particular game which is the thing with the pink body segments and a, a blue head and you can only remove those segments by shooting the head of that thing and it makes a nice noise when you do so I'll try and do that it's got itself stuck in a corner at the moment you can also unlike the uh, Atari arcade game move anywhere around the screen you like obviously the mushrooms do block your path but otherwise you can move where you like and there's also this red um, spaceship going down the left hand side of the screen shooting bullets across the screen which is slightly annoying um, hasn't caused me too much trouble so far on this first level which is pretty easy going if you do shoot all the green segments of the thing oh god this is a terrible demonstration Let's call this a demonstration of how you control the game and how you play it and then I'll have a proper playthrough on a second go. So uh, if you shoot all the green things another lot of them appear at the top of the screen. So uh, it's actually better to leave those till last because the level completes when you've, when you've shot all the segments of the uh, spectipede going down the middle, around the middle of the screen at the moment and all the green things but if you don't shoot all the green things until last then more green things come along. So you need to really shoot this thing first, the uh, spectipede. Makes that little noise every time you shoot one, the uh, blue head of it. 
that's gone now. So as I mentioned, the green things are the things you've got to eliminate to clear the level. Every time a green thing touches the bottom of the screen, once you've cleared the spectipede from the level, um, another one appears at the top so it can get quite tricky. One thing I haven't mentioned also is these funny little glowing green things in the middle of the screen here which uh, every time you shoot them rotate and fi fire things in different directions which can sometimes help you and sometimes it can kill you. As you can see that green one there is stuck in a loop there at the bottom left now and it keeps spawning new green ones from the top of the screen so I really need to get rid of that as quickly as possible and then clear what's left out. Other good things to mention about the game are that if you hold the fire button down you shoot non-stop so that's good. It's got a rapid fire on which is quite unusual for a game of this age. There you go, finally cleared all the green blobby things and I'm on to level 2. So after a pretty poor playthrough while I was talking about the game I'm actually getting, making some progress now. So yeah basically the idea is get rid of the uh, blue and purple spectipede first then wipe out all the green things to progress from level to level. Oh, I'm trying not to get shot. That's game over, so I will give it another go since that wasn't a very good demonstration. This time I'll focus purely on gameplay. As you can see there's a high score table and I've had a few goes in the past where I did better than I just did. So let's give it another go. Less talking and more action this time. So let's go for it. Let's get rid of this guy first. Oh, gone straight into him then. That's pathetic. So that's got rid of the spectipede as previously advised, mentioned, whatever. So get rid of the green things flying around now and it'll be on to the next level. So a quick talk about the sound and graphics. Well the sound's pretty basic, it's just little shooting and bleeping noises for various things, explosions and what have you. Um, so graphics are quite reminiscent of uh, the early Jeff Minter games like Grid Runner. Definitely got that same sort of style where everything just takes up one sort of pixel uh, or sprite bro block on the screen. You see if you wipe all the green ones out before you've wiped out the spectipede you get another big load of them coming from the top of the screen. So that is sort of a method for accumulating more points but it does make it more chaotic as well. And I got hit by the bloody thing again. Amazingly my first go on the game yielded me 15,000 points and since then I've got nowhere near. It's like trying to try harder to play the game just seems to make it more challenging. There's not a lot else to say about the game really. The graphics are pretty basic um, but it's certainly not a bad game and, it, and it's more than just a centipede clone. It has got its own sort of gameplay elements that are different to centipede so in that respect it's not too bad. It's quite an addictive little simplistic shoot 'em up you know from that era where these kind of games were all the rage in the arcades. And certainly programming wise it's pretty good. It's a get, bit annoying at times when you seem to get shot by things you're not expecting to kill you suddenly appearing from the, the middle of the screen or off from the sides. I don't know if it's actually possible to direct a shot using those sort of mirror things in the middle there and try and shoot the red thing at the side but I've got no chance here now. Uh, so there's probably not much more to say about the game. I have done better than that on previous goes uh, but there's probably not, not much more to see on it. It has got a really peculiar high score table as well where you're entering your name where it's kind of not very intuitive so I'm, when you push right you, the, the letters seem to go more to the left and when you push left they go more to the right it's a little bit peculiar but you get used to it. I get my name into the high score table and put a load of spaces in and there I am somewhere on the high score table fairly low down so uh, yeah all in all it's not a bad game it's not amazing but for the time that it came out in 1984 as a cost of $1.99 it's pretty good it's pretty well programmed fairly addictive very challenging as you've seen so certainly worth the $1.99 asking price and uh, not a bad start to this little series <laughs>
two, one, zero.